Hey, what's up, everyone? So right now it's Tuesday, and as you can tell, my voice is way better. I feel so much better. I don't have a headache, and my ears are probably still popped. That's the thing. I hate so much. Sometimes your ears will be popped for two weeks without you realizing it, or you realize it, but not how badly it is, and then, like, you know, two weeks later, your ears just pop, and it's like, oh, wow, I can hear 200 times better now all of a sudden. But anyways, I just got done let my dog back in, and uh, I thought I was hallucinating, but in the way it happened, I don't know what's going on. Essentially, when I let my dog in, I looked outside, and I noticed a weird, like, just spark, like a flicker or something. But it was a very big spark, as if somebody was doing some sort of experiment or something, or as if there was some lightning. But this spark, or flash, that I saw was behind a very particular area, you know. It wasn't just like my eyes just tricking me, because everything would have probably flashed at the same time, but it was like right behind this tree. And it was very strange, and you know, when I tried to look at it, I think I saw a little bitty flash, and then afterwards, nothing. As if someone was watching me. Or just maybe the timing, I don't know. I don't even know why it was flashing. Also, one of the things I was wanting to talk about is that I think with some of the changes that's probably going to be going on around here when it comes to my mom's boyfriend and his son moving in for at least a couple of months, I think, and possibly just one month, it's it's one of those complicated situations. On one side it says this, but on the other side it says that. But I think this actually might end up being kind of a good thing, and I say that because I've always... For a while, I've been thinking about possibly trying to make a schedule for myself and trying to do things in a very set schedule because, you know, when it comes to making videos, you know, it's very easy to get uh, distracted by other things or, you know, end up focusing too much on one particular project or anything like that. But I think that since most of the videos that I do make are things that I could do on a ahead of time and do any time that I want because most of it's things that are kind of up to me because... You know, it's not like I'm fully relying on gaming news and tech news and those things to just happen. It's more things I, I just come up with ideas for, you know, especially when I make new videos and people are more interested in it. And maybe a couple gives me a couple more ideas or possibly some of the feedback people give and so on and so forth. So I think with the way some of the series and videos that I've, you know, that I've actually started, I think the good thing about them and that the way they work is and what type of videos they are is that I could easily schedule these things ahead of time so if I just set a simple schedule for most of my videos it'll be very good overall the only thing is that there are certain things I like to do weekly or once every few days you know and these are the types of things I just like to do you know stay in touch with my friends chat and team speak and just you know various other things and these are things that I'm probably not going to be able to do on as much of a set schedule or if I do they're going to be throughout various different times of the day like it might end up being two in the morning when I could talk with this person or do that and get that taken care of and just you know various different parts of the day so I feel like even though I could do most of my videos at a very specific part of the day early in the morning essentially when everybody's at work and when he's gonna be at school you know my mom's cousin or my mom's boyfriend's son then that will be a very good time for me to record my videos when the house is mostly quiet so it's gonna be very good when it comes to that stuff but certain things, I'm just going to have to try to get a good idea of like when those things happen and try to keep most of the rest of my schedule clean. And, you know, occasionally I'm going to, you know, have to tell him to get out of my or that he can't come in the room because I might end up in the middle of a live stream or podcast or anything else like that. And, you know, it's just it's one of those things that happens, you know, but if I can schedule most of it, I think that'll be a very, very good thing. And other than that, I need to, you know, seriously pick up the pace because there's a lot of videos I really want to do. And with the video tomorrow that is going to be on Chris's channel, oh my gosh. I do not want people to, like, if they end up coming to the vlogging channel, I don't want them to see just a bunch of weekend vlogs, you know, and that kind of stuff. And the past couple of weekend vlogs are honestly not really that interesting. So because of that, I want to at least have a couple of decent videos, you know, uploaded on that channel you know, and the weekend vlog number 10, I think, was actually pretty good, especially since I hung out with my friends, I was laid back, I was having fun, and talked about various different things, you know, it was just, it was fun, you know, for the most part, so it was definitely more interesting overall, and the other good thing is that there's a couple things I've been wanting to do to kind of take, you know, the area that I usually record, which is in my room, and try to start recording in other areas, like when I'm going on a walk and that type of stuff, you know, exercising or anything along those lines, the good thing is that, you know, with him being here, my mom's boyfriend's son, he, 
there's going to be probably certain things that we'll want to do. Occasionally, you know, we might have just want to go outside, go for a walk in the park or something like that, or might have to walk them to school. Various different things. Maybe those things will give me a reason to really record myself, you know, in places out of my room. Or maybe just when, you know, downstairs, you know, doing something interesting or anything along those lines. You know, I think this could actually be a very good thing. And plus, it'll help me prepare and give me a reason, again, to do my videos at a certain time of the day and make a better sleeping schedule and plan things ahead of time, you know, when it comes to videos and that type of stuff, you know, definitely interested to see how everything turns out. And sorry for rambling, God, it's only the first segment of the video and it's already me just rambling quite a bit, you know, it's getting like five minutes long video right there and, you know, hoping things actually do turn out very well. The only thing I'm nervous about is the internet bill, but uh, as long as things go well, then everything will be taken care of in time, you know. Won't have to worry about it getting shut off or anything like that. And, yeah, so other than that, I will try to talk to you guys later today. Hello, everyone. So right now it's, right now it's Wednesday. It's technically Thursday. It's like 2 in the morning, and uh, uh, let's just say I'm finishing up a video or two on the uh, vlogging channel, and uh, hopefully it turns out actually well. The main thing I'm struggling with is that... Uh, there's a video I recorded with my webcam, and the big problem that the webcam I have, even though it has awesome quality, especially for webcam, is that the audio is never in sync. It really isn't. And what I mean by that is that even when you record with a separate microphone and a separate program, it actually still is out of sync. And even if you line that audio up with the audio that's recorded with the, uh, the main microphone, it's... It's still out of sync, it's strange. It's like the timing on the actual audio recording is out of sync from what you see from your actual lips and everything. So the lip sync is just out of whack and I'm gonna have to figure out exactly, I'm gonna try to like mess around with the settings because there's also this, uh, some settings that you could change to make it to where it stretches the audio. And that could also be good for in case the timing for the audio, you know, over time changes and that way you could actually change it to get it just right. So what I'm gonna focus on is getting that correct and also figure out exactly where I need to slide and move the audio to get it perfectly in sync. And once I get everything right where I need to get it, I'm gonna figure out exactly how much I had to move it, how I needed to change the timing, and just take a couple of notes for it. So in that way when I record my webcam from now on, I just need to change it, you know, the exact same way I did last time and it should work and if not then I just need to change it a slight bit and I will be done you know just to get that over with and have the timing and everything working perfectly for videos and that type of stuff so hopefully it turns out fine and right now my dog is by my feet and uh, she might start getting a little bit shaky here in a bit because right now it's pretty crazy outside it there's a storm outside and the weather is really loud and yeah, there's a really bad storm out there, and she gets very scared when there's storms and that kind of stuff, and the weather's just not that good and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, just mostly that going on, and uh, just going to try to get back to making videos very regularly, and I think the good thing is that since he's going to be going to school, I'll be able to do videos while he's at school, and that'll be good, and I'll just... The big problem for me is that I'm going to have to, like, really make sure to go to bed in time, and right now is not exactly a good example because it's, like, 2.30 in the morning, and I'm still awake. So, I'm going to have to be very, very careful about that, and it sucks that some people and certain things happen only, like, when it's really, really late, and I'm going to have to, like, have a certain time where I just cut it off, and I might even have to, I don't know, figure out exactly how long it takes to do videos, generally speaking, and see if I'll be able to get up maybe possibly a slightly later time, and if I could sleep long enough, essentially, and... If I have to sleep for seven hours every day, then I think that'll be fine for the most part. So I just need to exact, uh, try to figure that out so I can get everything done correctly and get a schedule essentially worked out. So other than that, yeah, I've just got some videos to work on. And uh, yeah, so other than that, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow will be more interesting and uh, still got a couple of videos to do. And uh, let's just see how it turns out. Hey, what's up, everyone? So right now I'm in the corner, and yeah, there's some toilet paper there. I need to clean some cups. I actually forgot to put those in the dishwasher. Dang it, I should have actually put that in there earlier. But sorry, I haven't been recording very much, and this is probably going to be one of the shortest weekend vlogs I've done for quite some time. And I've been really, really busy with, you know, him moving in, and I'm probably just going to refer to him as my stepbrother or little brother, as long as I get permission from him and stuff like that, because, you know, I'm not just going to call anyone my little brother. You know, as long as he feels comfortable with it, then... You know, I'm perfectly fine calling him that because it still feels weird just saying my mom's boyfriend's son. 
which is actually not as long as I thought it was going to be. I don't know why I thought it was so long and drastic and just weird to say. Hmm. Anyways, so, you know, mostly just spending a lot of time with him, and, you know, this is one of those things I already knew, but this, in a way, kind of confirms that. Even though times have changed when it comes to the standards uh, and expectations and the things that a lot of younger kids and generations are being raised around as far as, like, television and, you know, shows and things that they actually do and... You know, I'm surprised by how dumb a lot of the TV shows are on nowadays and how negative an influence they are because some of them may not go in deep on certain topics, but they refer to those things that kids shouldn't even be thinking about at a certain age or shouldn't even know about. Or maybe just the type of logic that exists within the show can actually be a bad influence on how they look on life and just so many bad things and most of it's just stupid i mean seriously when it comes to nickelodeon and disney most of the tv shows are about teenagers and little kids and how weird them and their friends are like they have superpowers or they do this oh they have a you know a live stream show that they do or something just really just very dull boring and very stupid things overly predictive the type of humor they usually have is very the stupid type of humor and you know just a lot of tv shows are really dumb but anyways as to what i was saying you know, I've seen this on the JetX channel. There's actually, you know, I'm still surprised one of the videos still has 0% dislikes. It's really, really great. Just shows you how awesome people are. And even from some of the comments that I've seen on there, I could, I've seen that even some of the newer generations don't like Disney XD and some of the other, you know, things they see on TV as much. And, you know, they've actually found out about Jetix and they start looking into it. And, you know, they actually wish it would come back, you know, even though they didn't grow up around it. And even though they didn't get to actually see it in its glory when it was on television, they actually want to see it come back. And they're actually much more interested in that. And they would much rather watch the TV shows that were on Jetix than what's on TV right now. So that's kind of a sign as to really how bad a lot of the TV shows are nowadays. And it's not just a matter of like, oh, you're just saying that because you're old, or oh, you're just saying that because you weren't raised about this stuff, or just something like that, you know. And let's just say um, my mom's boyfriend's son or stepbrother, he, he's he been watching a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of Disney TV shows and movies and things, you know, Mickey Mouse, Goofy, and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, even he loves all those shows. And I've showed him a couple of other shows, and he really liked them as well. And, you know, it's... Surprising just how much he enjoys all this stuff, and suddenly, I, you know, even though he's probably watched a lot of movies and TV shows, suddenly these things are his favorites, just because he loves it that much. It isn't just like, oh, just some show that someone showed him, or some movie someone made him watch, or anything like that, and they thought, liked it, or thought it was okay. It's more like, you know, he absolutely enjoyed it enough to make it his new favorite movie, or new favorite TV show, and just all these things, and it's... It's really interesting, you know, because in a way it kind of confirms what I, you know, saw a lot and was a pretty common thing on the JetX channel, which was a lot of the newer generations, a lot of the, you know, younger kids are actually starting to discover it and they actually wish to see it come back as well because they are much more interested in it. They like a lot of the TV shows, at least from what they've seen on YouTube and other places that were on JetX and some of the older TV channels in general than the stuff that are on today and they'd much rather see that stuff get shut down and the old stuff brought back at least most of it there's a couple of good tv shows but barely just barely and it was other than that i've been just really thinking a lot about when it terms uh when it comes to creating content and various other things because when it comes to creating content it it can really dry up on you i know a lot of people that have taken breaks for various different reasons some people that are changing their channels and the type of content that they create and there's just so many things. I mean, oh my gosh. Like, the more I get into this, the more it overwhelms me sometimes. And just the more things I learn and the and just the more that just gets unraveled. And, you know, it turns out there's a lot more things hidden underneath that carpet than you would have ever imagined, you know, essentially. And it's just, it's really just crazy how often things change, you know. And sometimes things go in a completely different direction, or change in a lot of different areas that, you know, had to do with certain things that you never expected to really change, you know, because you saw other things changing and you had a good idea as to what's, you know, what direction things are going to go in, but then sometimes other things start changing or maybe a new window opens, you know, and it's it's really crazy. There's just a lot of things to take in. And what I've been mostly focusing on is keeping a balancing a, a balance of certain things when it comes to content, you know, because 
even though some of the videos that I'm wanting to do are going to have some sort of level of professionalism to them, I still want things to be fun. I seriously want them to be fun. Like, I know I say this time and time again, but the Jet the videos on the Jetix channel have so much more fun making videos for that channel. Yes, they are the most time consuming because green screen effects and the timing and everything else, but it's something that I just purely enjoy. And a lot of things just go into it, you know, but it's just something I do enjoy. And, you know, I'm trying to keep a certain level of fun and professionalism and also not focusing too much on gaming and tech news because the funny thing is when it comes to gaming news and tech news, some of my... Well, my biggest videos are usually either tutorials or product reviews, but a lot of my second highest uh, viewed videos, a lot of them are gaming news, and those videos tend to get a lot of views sometimes, but I don't want to focus on it too much because gaming news often does dry up, especially when there's no new games coming out, everything's already been announced, and there's just not that much stuff going on. So I'm really focusing on what I really need to do to be able to keep a variety of content, be able to do it as regularly and, and be able to make as videos as I truly want without overwhelming myself too much. Because there's a couple of interesting videos I think are going to be really good that are, you know, a little bit, you know, fun and creative and just laid back, you know, just general things that wouldn't matter to too many, or I wouldn't think matter to too many people, but from what I've seen are things that I think a lot of people, especially on the gaming tech channel, will find very interesting and actually worth watching, you know, and things that actually might help them, you know, it's just, you know, something I had an idea about, you know, and I was like, you know what, I'll make a video about that, you know, and some are just going to be a little bit fun, you know, and there's uh, just, you know, trying to focus on trying to have as much variety as content as possible because some of my content honestly at least I think so have a certain level of originality to them and I want to keep at least a certain level of originality but also focus on just making the content in the best way possible keeping track of all of them is going to be such a pain but you know the good thing is that it'll be much harder to run out of ideas because some of these weekly series and so on and so forth they eventually will probably run dry, or at least they'll slow down on ideas. But if I spread them out enough, it'll make them last. those series last as long as possible. And also, there are going to be certain videos that come up occasionally. Occasionally, I'm going to be doing a product review. I'm not, I don't do it as regularly as you know, a lot of tech reviewers out there. But then again, I don't have thousands of dollars of income or any, any sort of affiliation with large you know, companies that make graphics cards and various other types of products. You know, I can't really do that, but I will occasionally do one. I will occasionally do a tutorial, you know, just like I did one on how to use OBS in the best way possible and get the best quality as you can and just essentially how to use it. I mean, those are the kind of videos that will come up occasionally, but I'm still going to have my weekly stuff, you know, but if something comes up, gets in the way, or I start running dry of ideas, I won't have to worry about it too much. But anyways, God, this video actually turned out much longer than expected. I don't expect any of you guys are going to be at the end of this video, but if you did, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for putting up with my blabbering mouth, because I do talk a lot, and, you know... I'm also just, you know, hoping a lot of these things will fit nicely with my life to a certain level because, you know, um, I don't want to overwhelm myself too much, you know, and if a certain series of videos ends up getting dry or just ends up overwhelming me, then I'll just focus on some other things for all, you know, occasionally you'll have to take a break, but at least it won't mean that I'm going to be stop making videos or going to be slowing down too much, you know, and certain videos I can't schedule ahead of time when things get a little bit bumpy, and that's always really, really great when I have videos scheduled ahead of time like that, you know, just might have to reschedule it, and then boom, you know, got that part of the week actually taken care of, so that's always great, so... Other than that, I appreciate you guys watching, and hopefully the next week will be much more interesting. Probably going to try to record outdoors a little bit, and oh man, I forgot to include that little bitty clip. Well, if I remember to, I'll try to put the very beginning or somewhere in this video a little bitty clip of a squirrel picture or clip that I took of. It's just, it was completely random, but I'm going to try to record more outdoors and other things. So, other than that, thank you all again, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.